Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of CUDA Crash Course. Uh, I'm Nick, and today we're going to be going over uh, Kublos uh, for uh, Vector Edition. So, what is Kublos starting out? So, um, one of the libraries that's included along with uh, you know the standard you know the runtime library, so we can actually run our CUDA code. Um, there's a couple other useful ones in there, and one of them is uh, Kublos, standing for CUDA BLOS, and BLOS it stands for Basic Linear Algebra Subroutines, so or subprogram. So this is basically a library that you know has built-in optimized versions of things like Victor Addition, uh, Saxby, uh, uh, Matrix Multiplication. So we'll go over exactly how we kind of use this uh, one of these libraries, and you know what are the benefits over you know manually manually writing something like a, a Matrix Multiplication kernel. So let's go ahead and start out. We'll go ahead and go over to Visual Studio, and we'll open up Simple Bloss. So in here, uh, we'll notice something right off the bat. It's uh, we don't have a kernel, right? So uh, this kind of makes sense though, because uh, we have a library that does this for us. So all we need to do is we need to uh, include this header. So there's Kublos, and then there's Kublos version two. Uh, I think they're just a uh, Kublos version two is just a newer version that has some updated things, and then the other Kublos header is for you know kind of legacy reasons, so that you know everything that you used to compile with Kublos will still compile. So we'll include this Kublos v2. We'll have some of the same functions we've seen before, so one for initializing a vector, another for verifying the results, and we'll get into our main function. So. Uh, you know, just like we do in every single CUDA kernel, we allocate some uh, memory on the host, uh, we allocate some on the device, and then we initialize some vectors, and then we do something new. So we need to create this kublos handle, and this handle is how we interface with this bloss library. So we have to first create a, uh, this handle object that's of type kublos handle t, then we actually have to create it. Um, so this will just, you know, fill um, that handle with a uh, with an actual memory address so that we pass it um, by reference. And then we can call this special thing called uh, kublos set vector. And this is a way of, uh, a kublos way of copying a uh, vector from the host to the device without having to use memcopy. So uh, there's also a kublos set matrix um, that you could do as well if you're doing something dealing with matrices. So, so what does this actually do? So it wants the size of the vector it wants the size of each element, and then it wants, you know, where is it coming from? So your host, the device pointer, and then these ones right here, these are the step size. So, you know, you could have, you know, a varying step size if when you're using a kublas set vector, and so this is how you set that. So in this case, you know, every single entry will be filled, and so it's going to be a step size of one. So between element zero and element one, there'll only be one space. So from, it's just one hop. And then we'll do the same thing with uh, our host vector b. Now, here now, the way we do vector addition is actually through, you know, another function that's called saxb. But it's pretty much the same. It's just uh, scaled. Um, uh, it's just a single precision um, a times x plus y. So it'll scale x by a certain um, alpha. You know, we'll call a. Uh, in this case, we can scale it by two, or if we just wanted regular vector addition, we could just scale it by one. In this case, we'll leave it two. And then we just have to call kublos saxby. We give it the handle. We give it the number of elements. Then we give it, um, we have to pass it a reference to whatever the scale is, so our alpha value. Then our uh, our two vectors, so vector A and vector B. On the, on the device, and then we have to do the increment value. So in this case, like we already said, um, our vectors you know, don't have any empty spaces, so that'll just be one. And that, that, that is our entire kernel. So we don't actually write any kernel code. It's already written. It's already in a nice library for us. We just need to call this nice function. So then we can, after, it, after it's done, we can do basically the same thing as a mem copy. And so we can do kublos get vector and it looks pretty much the same. We have uh, the number of elements, the size of each element, and then the uh, device pointer, the host pointer, and then again, the step size. 
So then we'll go ahead and verify the result. And then we'll just destroy the handle kind of like we do down here when we uh, free all the rest of the memory. So let's go ahead and rebuild this. And looks like everything completed successfully. Remember, uh, when you're using Kublos and uh, or any of these other libraries, you have to explicitly link against them. So if you go in here and you go to um, properties and you go to linker, you have to make sure that inside of your input you have kublos.lib in there. Otherwise, it won't be able to find that uh, that library that has that function in it for you. Just kind of like you have to add a CUDA runtime so it can find the runtime library, so it can so it knows where things like CUDA malloc are. So let's go ahead and run it, and then we'll go ahead and auto verify it using this verify result function. And there it is. So we have we just did. Oh, hey, let's actually increase the size. So let's go ahead and make it a. Um, 65, 536 element vectors together. And so let's rebuild it again. Should be just fine. And let's run. So it should take a little bit longer. But it's a quick kernel because we're just doing a uh, basically just addition across a whole bunch of elements. So that is going to do it for today. As always, all the code is online at uh, github.com slash coffee before arch. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.